Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. I am just about to leave the hotel, headed over to the airport for my 10-hour flight from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, to SeaTac International Airport, Seattle. And this is probably going to be the last bit of vacation for this Vlogmas series, other than like Christmas festivities with the family. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in Paris, France. Um, this past 20, maybe like 10, nine days, I've been on the road for a Roam Around the World travel vlog series where I went to South Africa. So if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and check them. My last video, I brought my drone out to, or not my last video, but the the one that I know that I uploaded last, I brought my drone to Hermanus and gorgeous views, I must say. But um, I'm about to check out of the hotel, the Citizen M here near the airport and head over to, to the uh, Charles de Gaulle airport. And then I need to get my tax refund for the Yves Saint Laurent um, leather good that I got. So gonna do that first. Exciting news, I will be flying home from Paris to Seattle on Delta One business class. If you're curious to know what the experience is like over there, go ahead and stay tuned. So just got here to Charles de Gaulle Airport and was here inside um, to get my tax refund. I didn't realize how easy that was going to be. It was literally me taking my form, going up to a kiosk, scanning the little slip, and then it's like, you get 24 euros back, which is nice. Um, 24 euros is about like 25 US dollars or maybe a little bit more. And already on a significantly less priced item in Saint Laurent than what you would get back home, I think it's a good deal. I'm gonna head over to the security and then maybe find the lounge. Just got past uh, passport control and airport security. I got to say, Charles de Gaulle, like, I've heard so many kind of horror stories about how large this airport is and how how crazy it gets, but this was super efficient. Like, it was stress-free and I'm really happy with the experience. Compared to, like, when I went to London Heathrow, that was a mess. A hot-ass mess. But, um, yeah, also being sky priority also was a good choice, especially if you're like time constrained. Walking into the Air France lounge. These are the airlines that they cover. Let's go inside. Hopefully they, this is the one that actually has the facial, the 15 minute complimentary facial. So the Air France lounge has a whole bunch of different food, some bacon, eggs, cold cut meats, cheeses, and well, this is bacon, the last one was sausage. Some bread. They have like a coffee machine, orange juice machine, and a whole bunch of baked goods. Hey guys, so I'm here at the Clarins uh, spa. Uh, if you are a, if you are flying business class on um, Air France, Delta, you get a complimentary 15 minute facial and I'm doing one for my skin right before my flight. So yeah, I'm super excited. It smells good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can I just say that that experience of having a 15 minute complimentary facial is a game changer. Like, I feel super refreshed and relaxed before my flight and the lady that was my esthetician did a really good job within 15 minutes. She gave me a, like, a neck and back massage, a hand massage, she like <laughs> um, put all these products on my face and massage. So, it was a really good experience at the Air France land lounge, but now heading over to my gate to depart to Seattle on Delta One business class, 10 hour flight. I'm actually really excited for it just to chill and relax. So got here to the Delta One business class section. There are two sections. Um, this is the smaller section, but it uh, has like three rows of a one to one configuration. On the other side down there is the larger section with like five rows. 
This is my seat 7A. It's another herringbone, reverse herringbone configuration where it's a one to one configuration. A little bit of a tour. The bed turns out into a flat bed. And as always, the Tumi Delta amenity kit. Um, I have so many of these and as a surprise giveaway, um, I want to give one to you guys. So go ahead and comment below, thumbs up this video and comment where the last place that you've traveled in the past. Um, and make sure that you subscribe because I'll check and I will gift this to one of you guys in the future. Also, got a lot of leg room compared to the Air France business class um, seats. I think this one's a little bit more narrow. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like a comparison between Air France, both business class and Delta One. Um, I know that some aspects Air France excelled in and some aspects they don't. Thank you. There you are, you're welcome. And got some bubbly. But yeah, let me know if you are interested in seeing that video, a comparison video between Delta One and Air France Business Class because there are some differences and each airline excels in certain aspects. I'll do a quick seat tour. Um, you guys have probably seen it before, but there's a TV that you can press open like that. Uh, remote control that uh, functions the TV if you don't want to reach that forward. Uh, down because um, this is a touch screen. You have a little function right here to recline, bring the footrest up, make it into a flat bed. Um, there is a tray table right over here, a little storage compartment here for like papers and small knickknacks, magazine compartment down here, um, and then you have the comforter and the pillow that is from Weston really good and a little table space here that you can just place some of your stuff um, you guys already saw the amenity kit but this is the uh, noise cancelling headset and then the water you also have a little port for the USB for plugs and then a little light for reading this is a nine hour flight I think it'll be really good um, I'm excited just to like relax I know that there's a few movies that I really wanted to check out while I'm here like I think Annabelle the scary movie was one of the ones that I wanted to check out. Um, there's nothing quite like watching a scary movie 35,000 feet in the air. Got the Delta One menu and here are a few selections for the main course. Stuffed chicken thigh with onion bread pudding, crispy cod loin, margarita pasta. Ooh, they all sound pretty good apparently. Also, you, there is a signature cocktail. This one is the Sunrise Cocktail with gin, cranberry apple juice, and ginger ale. Get heated nuts. Um, and then before the main course, there is a beef tenderloin. Um, I don't think I'll be eating that, but there's a Caesar salad and pumpkin soup. And then afterwards, you have a selection of desserts. There's the uh, vanilla ice cream sundae, gingerbread and butter pudding, and fine cheeses. The lady at the clearance swab in the lounge gave me this revitalizing gel to wear uh, by Clarins Men. I might actually use this during the flight. I, just, I cannot stress how amazing that experience was. Like my face feels super plump and ready for travel. But um, yeah, I don't know what's holding us up. Uh, looking outside, apparently they said that a few bags did not make the plane yet. So. Let's hope that it makes it and that my bag is one of them because y'all already remember from the last time my bags didn't make it to South Africa. Now it's time to sleep. After some, I don't know, like five, six, seven hours of sleep, got our second meal, got the hummus with a flatbread baba ganoush with a little salad and some fruit, some quick um, meal before we land, and then I have a Coke, an after meal coffee to enjoy while watching HGTV. So we are beginning our descent down to Seattle. It's been a good 10 hours. Um, I feel refreshed, just kind of put that clearance, revitalizing gel on my face that I got down back in Paris.
So you guys just got to Seattle and it's a shit show here. I last checked in with you guys, I think I was in the plane, literally 30 minutes in an active taxiway because there was a, sorry, excuse me, because there was a, uh, an airplane that was already occupying the gate that we were scheduled to be in. One, two, we get out of the airplane and then all of a sudden, they had us like stuck in a little section and wouldn't let us go to passport control because the capacity was crazy. So like we had people that were trying to make their connecting flights that, you know, we, our, our flight was already delayed by like 45 minutes and they were trying to get, you know, pass, passport control, etc., just to make their next flight. But then we got kind of held up and had to stay in a certain area before passport control. Go to passport control, filled with people. Filled. I've never seen SeaTac International Airport like that before. I don't know, it's probably a capacity issue, but I also think it might be a staffing issue because literally, at some point there was like three or four um, people that, that were checking passports when there are enough space for like eight podiums. So, a little bit of everything. And, uh, Literally something that usually is like a 10 15 minute thing ended up being like an hour hour 15 hour 30 and so get my bags And then there's like a long line to declare your fucking items. So that's why I got this luckily I'm sky priority and I got my stuff but Instead of getting picked up here. I'm probably just gonna get picked up or I'm gonna walk to where my dad's at which is a nearby hotel I'll see you guys back in the car so I'm finally home and after like 30 minutes, 45 minutes of being home, I took a shower, changed my clothes, and now I'm off doing errands because I need to get stuff done before our family Christmas party on the 24th, Christmas Eve. So uh, come along with me. I have some things to get. I also need to still wrap all of my gifts. I'm planning on meeting up with my cousin Irish later uh, because she needs to wrap her gifts too. So we'll probably pop in a Christmas movie and do that. You guys, the only, only thing that is keeping me from falling asleep in front of my pho is this uh, Vietnamese coffee. I'm also here with Irish. Say hi, Irish. Hi. Um, we'll see her back at her place when we decide to uh, wrap our gifts, but some hot pho on a cold day is perfect with our and spoon with our <laughs> the guy gave us a, a spoon and fork and not um, chopsticks and the ladle but um yeah i i would say that like there i didn't eat that much asian food in south africa and when i ate asian food in france i was like Meh. so this is this is much needed you know what's crazy? Asian people in France. Is it like Indian people? Asian people in France uh -huh. with like, for example, Chinese people have a Chinese accent speaking English, but then when they switch to French, it's, it's like, like it's like yeah. I was I shook. It, yeah. it was crazy, but they were trilingual. Because I said I'm going sign, and then they're like. Oh, and then they talk in English. They, they talk in English. Yeah. And then you hear them speak French. To like locals. To locals. That's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. So this is, uh, I'm watching my uh, vlog. I think this is like day 18 of Vlogmas. Anyways, Irish and I were working on um, the gift wrapping, but um, I was too tired and I forgot that I had to vlog, so that's that. But uh, I think I'm the end of the vlog for today. This is a really, really, really long vlog because it started in Paris and then it ends here. Um, but thank you so much for watching watching day 22 of Vlogmas. See you guys tomorrow for day 23. Gotta get some stuff done for uh, our family party. And I'll keep you guys um, updated and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!